it's always great being joined by uh, the champions of the modern game, and Max Gorn's been good enough to join us on the show tonight. Great to have you with us, Maxi. Hey, when you started this AFL journey of yours, could you possibly have imagined that you'd have a fortnight the like of which you've just been through? Yeah, hello, lads. Um, no, it must have been in the fine print. Um, I, didn't, I didn't read it. <laughs> <laughs> so tell it, take us back to the flight up to Queensland and then, and then what happened thereafter? Yeah, so we had to isolate for 48 hours to get into Brisbane. Um, and then on our, on our way up, Brisbane wanted to go into lockdown and um, they diverted our plane from Gold Coast to Brisbane. So when that happened, I, there was a bit of a red flag and um, we stayed on the tarmac for sort of four or five hours and just flew back and played Gold Coast the next day then flew to Perth for seven days quarantine and then played in one of the more interesting games I've played in uh, on Monday night. We'll get to that in just a second, but how did they divert the plane? How did you know the plane was being taken to <laughs> somewhere else? Uh, I was lucky enough to get 1A, Mick, uh, at, the, at, at the front of the plane. and uh, oh, yeah. the flight... I, know, I know it well. <laughs> uh, the flight attendant didn't really know who was in charge, so he just went to 1A and um, he called me to the front of the plane and said the AFL was trying to make contact with the pilot. Um, they want to know if you want to... They want to go back to Melbourne or land in Brisbane. And I said, none of the above. We're playing golf. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you should have said Cancun sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. And Why would you go to the Ruckman? <laughs> <laughs> to, to divert a flight. <laughs> so, what so, are you doing now? What am I doing now? I'm currently isolated for 60 hours, so Adelaide are allowed to come into Melbourne. Uh, that's, yeah, that's not well, what I'm, I'm, I'm drinking beer and talking footy with my mate, so we're all doing it. <laughs> <tough, mate. laughs> so, take us back to Perth, Max, and this crazy game, six minutes into the last quarter. Um, tell us how it all played out as far as you could tell. Uh, yeah, so um, apparently a storm uh, was above. James Harms reckoned he saw the lightning, which worries me a little bit because he was looking probably the wrong way. Um, <laughs> And uh, the umpire came up and told me, he goes, can the captains come to me, please? And unfortunately, Luke Shuey wasn't uh, playing and he, he just quickly forgot who the West Coast captain was, the umpire. Um, <laughs> so I had, to, I had to calm him down and say, it's Jeremy McGovern, he's behind you, let's, 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 let's go talk to Jeremy. And um, yeah, so he said, go back to your change rooms, you'll be there for at least 20 minutes and um, we were there for half an hour and came back and West Coast were ready to play. As the tallest player on the ground, you would have been pretty happy to get off, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> that beer would have gone um, up in flames. <laughs> Everyone else was quite annoyed, but I was quite relieved because I felt like the lightning might have been coming towards me <laughs> if, it was, if it was anyone. <laughs> yeah. Maxi, I just wanted to say, you know, you are a wonderful player. Wonderful who was, player. Who has That's redefined right. what it means to play in the ruck. You know, I mean, with your, with your hard running, you're practically an, an on ball. I just wanted to yeah. say that sincerely. But also, your marking overhead is underrated. You're not afraid to get involved in the game and get involved in a big pack mark. Um, this year, no exception, by the way. There's been a couple of yep. a couple of big packs here with Cody Waitman taking his crown. <laughs> um, you just, you just know, you know where to be. Like Mitch Georgiatis here, like that. You put yourself in a position. When you are involved in uh, Mark of the Year contestants almost every week, Max. Uh, how do you reckon? Uh, uh, have a look here. Uh, how do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you're, you're top of the ladder. Yeah, it's been an outstanding year for the club, and we want to talk about that. But before we get there, true or false, you finished second in a pizza making competition <laughs> for Domino's one year. Uh, yes, I, I uh, worked at Domino's Pizza for four years. Um, it was it was a great time, to be honest. And they sent uh, they sent one person per store in Victoria. I was representing Bentley. Uh, to a pizza making contest, and yeah, I came second. I missed a piece of pepperoni. No, you know what they say in pizza making competitions: if you don't finish first, you're last. Also, Mickey, just to clarify, Max, when it came to arranging frozen ingredients on top of a pizza base, <laughs> there was someone better at you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there was. I, I unfortunately, on a supreme pizza or a Domino's, there's eight bits of pepperoni, and I unfortunately put seven. And that was the, that was the only mark I missed. You cheap bastards. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they would have been hard judges too if I know Domino's. Probably three blokes around a coffee table smoking a bong. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think so. <laughs> what, what, what do you think 
a flag this year erase some of the hurt from the pizza making competition? It does, it, it, and it definitely will. I've got a, I've got a laminated uh, piece of paper that has got me second in the Domino's pizza. That's still up on my wall, which is um, so. Hopefully, that can come off my wall, and I can put a medallion excellent. on. Excellent, done. Excellent. By the way, I know I said that you're involved in some big marks. I know it's a cheap shot too. But I know. I said you've yeah. been involved in some big marks this year, no, by yeah. the way, and it would be remiss of me, um, bit of respect, not to mention that. There's nothing compared to that Liam, Liam Ryan mark uh, from a couple of years ago in 2019. Have a look at this one. Maxi, <laughs> has Liam Ryan rung you to thank you? <laughs> I actually really like my effort in that. Um, I, I, ran, I, ran, I ran really hard back and I ended up getting hor horizontal in the, in the mark. So, um, no, the, the two this year, let's just say I'm, I'm all for Jack Rewalt and I've asked all my family and friends to, <laughs> to get on the voting panel and I think Jack Rewalt is the best mark fan there. Well, well said. Um, beautifully I, said. I, I like your style. Beautifully said. Max, we, we mentioned uh, what a role the club is on, the team is on, but a lot of congratulations must go to you as the <laughs> captain. <laughs> yeah, for showing that you are a leader among men and you've, the club seems to have got around you and, and it's, it's all heading in the right direction. I knew you had what it takes when I saw your sensitive response on the topic of concussion when you were talking to the media. Yeah, I, I think he passed the test as well and that's one of the only things you have to do as a player um, and then I think he's uh, sort of self-nominated himself. Um, to be fair, I've made that pretty much all that up. I don't really know that. <laughs> you can actually see the moment when I lose control. Of that <laughs> Brian um, stops you, just, you, know, you talk about how great this man is as a captain, Magnificent supporting captain. his teammates. They can always count on him being. He'll do there. anything for his teammates. He will do anything for his teammates. Uh, like you did this for Tom Bug in a JLT game a couple of years ago. You were there. <laughs> You were there for him when he needed you to take another screamer. <laughs> you really are a, you're a selfless man. That's what makes you the best captain in the league, Max. I'm going to say that. I'm surprised you've only found four. I think I've been <laughs> at least ten times. Hey, Max, you're carrying on the magnificent legacy of a former great Melbourne Ruckman who did wear the number 11, of course, Jimmy Steins, who did some magnificent work for the footy club, obviously on the ground, but, but off as well for the Reach Foundation. I know that that's something that's... Uh, pretty important to you and, uh, and and you're continuing on Jimmy's legacy? Yeah, so the round for Reach uh, is this round for us against the Crows on Sunday and um, it's been a tough time for a lot of people in COVID but I feel like that demographic of teens and adolescents um, have really missed out on a really important part of their life and um, this charity is all about just creating the best uh, teenagers uh, and the best youths possible in Australia and um, one day they're going to be our CEOs and our Prime Ministers, and that's a pretty scary thought, but um, <laughs> to, to be able to create the best versions of, of, of teenagers we possibly can, and that's, and that's basically what Jim was trying to do from the get-go, and Jim did that with me. Um, I was a pretty, um, as we've talked about a little bit today, I was a, I was a pretty raw teen um, growing up. I was winning Domino's contests, and um, Steinsy, Steinsy let, me, let, let me be me, and he let me be different, and um, he was different, and it's, it, it's a really good message to anyone growing up that it's okay to be the person you want to be, and um, I encourage everyone to donate. Our, our, our major sponsor, Zurich, has started things mm. off, and they've, and they've donated 25000 as well, so um, it's a really good start. Good right. stuff. Absolutely. Well, well said. Well by shot. the way, I, I love what you've done with the um, interior design of the room, too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Maxie, good luck for the rest of the season, mate. You're always uh, really generous with your time. Thanks for coming on the show tonight. Thanks, guys. He's one of the very best. There's no question about that. If you do want to, he's a good fella. If you do want to help uh, Max and everybody else who's doing all that great work with Reach, you can go to the website reach.org.au or you can scan that QR code. $11 will go to the cause. Do and it. they are doing enormous work uh, for kids who just need a little bit of a hand, as Max uh, mentioned there. So if you can scan that QR code, uh, that money will go to a terrific, terrific cause. Uh, a break here on the front bar. Don't go anywhere. On the other side of this, Chris Connolly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.